It's Rant Wednesday. I'm hating on my hair pretty hard right now. I mean, I get, I get that I, I have a small head. I, I understand that. It's, it's small and kind of roundish. I understand that. And I don't want big hair. I don't, I really don't. Never did. Although I have, over the years, had big hair back in the day, but not any longer. Do I want big hair? And before I got my hair cut, there were times where I, I looked rather mad scientist look, and I, you know, it's, that's not a good look really. Um, and I just, I think, I think my hair is hating on me too, because it's, it's curlier than it's ever been. And I, I think it's because it just hasn't been allowed to grow for so long. I don't, I don't know. Of course, today doesn't help that it's like a super windy day and I have new product in it which I now regret buying because it's a product really for curly hair to help accentuate the curls, which I don't want, and I, I, I'm not sure why I bought the other stuff. Thank you for being nice about my hair, but it's not going to change the fact that I'm hating on it right now. I will not cut it off. It, I'm just, I don't like all the curls. And I'm sorry, I, if you have straight hair and you say I would kill for the curls, no. I would kill because of the curls. Seriously, I, I don't like it. The only upside is if I don't look in the mirror, I'm not really aware of it. As if, you know, if it were someone that I knew and I had to look at them all day and I hated their hair, that would be, that would be bad too. But my rant today really has to do with the news. And not everyone in the news says it and other people that aren't in the news do say it. It's just, it's one of those things that just bugs me. Particularly when there's major events going on like now and in the recent past. There will be a major event happening and the news person will say that this event is changing history. Not, it's not changing history, really. Only the Texas Board of Education can change history. History, by definition, is something that happened in the past. And this current event can't change that. That bugs me. I understand what they're saying. They're saying that this event is significant. It will go down in the history books. I understand that, that from now on, whatever is involved with the event will no longer be the same as it was before. I, I get all that. But to say that it's changing history is just incorrect. And a lot of people say it. So I'm saying to you, stop it. It's not changing anything. Just stop it. I feel better. I had a meeting today at Starbucks to do some uh, design work for this person and it was supposed to be at, at 12.30 and at 1 o'clock I called and I said, you know, it's 1 o'clock. I think I was a trooper to wait 30 minutes. And she said, oh no, no, it's 11.59. I said, no, it's it's 1. You guess you forgot to change your clock after the time change. She's like, well, I must have. I'll be there in 30 minutes which was her original time, but not mine. So I uh, ran across the street from the Starbucks as a cigar, the cigar shop that I go to to get my cigar boxes, and I bought a few more boxes um, because I had time to kill. And they're only like a dollar, three dollars at the most. So I bought, I bought three. And, uh, and then I returned to Starbucks I know I wrote this on Facebook, but um, I'm sitting at the table by, by myself. It's a table for four. And these three people came in, and one of them sat next and at the table I was sitting at. And, uh, and then there was another table, just a two-seater. So I thought, well, 
I'll move over to the table for two since I'm only meeting one other person and then the three of them could could sit and you know have their coffee and they they were very appreciative and, and said thank you and then they ended up not really sitting there so I moved back because I just I you know I wasn't sure if our meeting we were gonna have stuff sort of out on the table and those little two-seaters are very small so I moved back over to the four table and um, I don't know three or four minutes later this this man just walks straight up sits at the table with me doesn't say a word just sits down and starts writing madly on paper and he had a clipboard of it looked like at least 300 pieces of paper in on this clipboard um, and I, I really without being too obvious couldn't tell what they were and he wrote very large so he may not have been writing a lot he just wrote very big but I jokingly said he was writing his manifesto because he kind of had that look about him. You know, he had a beard, kind of crazy eyes, and um, he had a short sleeve shirt pocket w with the pockets said two of them, and they were stuffed completely full of paper. I mean, just bulging out uh, with papers stuffed in there. So he, he was just kind of, you know, mad scientist maybe. Maybe he thought my hair was mad scientist hair and that, you know, like mine's or something. I don't know. Anyway, he wrote, he wrote madly for, I don't know, a few minutes and then uh, just got up and abruptly left. And I was, I was relieved. And then, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes later, the person I was meeting came. I'm trying to fill the time because I don't know if Gina's still painting. And she wanted long videos so to entertain her. I don't know how entertaining these really are, but there you have it.